I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been, you know? Hey guys, how are we this morning? Hope everyone's doing well and over in the UK. Hope you're staying safe over there. Uh, where there's fires in the US, hope you're staying safe there. Apparently there's a hurricane as well hit, hitting Florida. Hope you stay safe there too. And okay, just hope everyone's safe everywhere. I'm going to start from the bottom and go up on this one. I've got a lot of interesting stuff, guys, that um not sure whether this uh these people predicting the crash. Um some people say like it should have been as early as today, but we'll see what happens. Now we've got Gunther Eagleman, Woke Olympic summary, two biological males boxing each other for a women's gold medal. This is not parody. Because apparently that's what's happening. The two male boxers will be boxing each other to win the women's title. These two. <sighs> oh, then we've got this. Katie said, Albanese and ASIO boss addressing a probable terrorist uh, threat. A global trend in violence, politically motivated, and a frustration with the public health response to COVID-19, tensions around the war in Gaza. I sense the government crackdown on our civil liberties coming. How about you? Oh, I think it's coming. They're going to try. Okay, and it's not even, I don't even believe this is who they say it is that is doing this. Hmm. I believe they've paid both sides to do something here. Anyway, Derek Johnson said all planned uh, Executive Order 13885, BRICS Independent Nations Dumping USD New Financial System all outlined in law, laws and orders. Uh, truth details, this is from True Social. Stock market's crashing, I told you so. Kamala doesn't have a clue. Biden's sound asleep, all caused by inept US leadership. He said the Trump economy is setting records and has, and this was in 2019, has a long way to, uh, up, to, up to go. However, if anyone but me takes over in 2020, I know the competition very well. There'll be a market crash, the likes of which has not been seen before. Keep America great. And people didn't, and we see. Now, this one's very interesting. Lucy Letby, UNN, United, Unity News Net, said, was this a miscarriage of justice? I called this last year when it happened. Are they gently leaking these stories now? Yes, they're going to gently leak them so people understand not to believe everything the mainstream media says. And... Um, I do believe that they blamed this woman for something bigger. And I, I did have it wrong in the fact that I thought there were other um, staff involved, and there still could be. But hospital where Lucy let me work suffered bacterial outbreak lethal to babies. Leaked risk report shows pseudomonas, I'm not sure if I said that right, Erig oh, yeah, okay. This thing here, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, colonized taps in nurseries of neonatal unit. Okay, so, I, honestly, I called this when it happened, and everybody jumped on the bandwagon of the mainstream media. When the mainstream media give you a story, and they're all saying the same thing, like, honestly, watch this. What happens when I type Lucy Letby? Uh, I spelt it wrong before. Okay. You get Wikipedia saying the neonatal nurse who murdered seven infants. Okay, that's all you get. Um, you get sentenced to life. Guilty. Okay. That's what you get. When that happens, question it. Because things aren't always what they seem. Okay, anyway, I'm going to do I'm going to look into this bit a bit more and I'll bring you some more information. As soon as I find it, I've got another 
uh, bookmark tab called Lucy Letby. I'll be looking at that. History repeating said, riddle me this, why are Indigenous groups hiring immigrants to uphold the ban on white people climbing to the summit of Mount Warning? And don't they look like they're doing their job? Is the Aboriginal industry really hiring immigrants to police white people for $7,000 per week? Security stationed at Mount Warning on Australia Day this year. You have got to be kidding. Just walk straight past them. What security have they got? I like if you're a male, anyway. <clears throat> Women might not be able to, but the men might. That's ridiculous. No wonder that guy climbed it. Okay, Pauline Hanson said Al Anthony Albanese claims he never promised to deliver a divisive Macarada commission. Is he having a Joe Biden moment? Perhaps he should check the details of his broken Macarada commission promise with the Anthony Albanese from 2021 in this clip. If Anthony Albanese can't recall clear promises like this or doesn't have the guts to be honest and upfront with the people about breaking his Macarada commission, he should resign. The Uluru Statement contains another of the great keys with which we can unlock our potential going forward, a Makarata Commission, which would oversee a national process of truth-telling, agreement and treaty-making. As a priority, Labor will establish a Makarata Commission with responsibility for truth-telling and treaty. It will be established through a process of open nominations and review. The Commission will facilitate local truth-telling and advise on a national framework for treaty-making, and it will work with a voice to Parliament. This is how we can go forward. Until promises are transformed into reality, a production line of announcements and re-announcements amounts to nothing more than building a mirage. The You're getting $45 billion a year for the Aboriginal community. Where the hell is the money going? Come on, man. Throwing money at a problem never solves it. It doesn't. It doesn't. Anyway, yeah, he should resign. This clip is from Anthony Albanese's speech on the 5th of the 8th, 2021, speech on closing the gap. Like most Australians, One Nation strongly opposes Labor's divisive Makarata Commission. I don't even know what a Makarata is. Hey, Macarena. <laughs> Oh, Anthony Albanese says he's never promised it, but now his newly appointed Minister for Indigenous Australians, Milan Deary McCarthy, says the Makarata Commission is still on the table. We deserve to know the truth. Anthony Albanese needs to come clean or resign. I wish he'd resign. Can we just get the man to resign? Just resign already. Okay, we have something else, Josephine Cashman. Anyone have any ideas who the mastermind is behind what is currently transpiring in the United Kingdom? Anyone? By Jove, how on earth did you find me when my hand was hidden? Queried King Nebuchadnezzar. King Charles III visited a number of Islamic centres in Britain as Prince of Wales. Getty. Huh. Wonder who was organising that. That's why your king's missing. Okay, Peachy Keenan. <laughs> said King Charles and Prince William get a choice. They can speak out now in defence of their subjects, their nation, their crown, which is literally based on blood and soil, or they can wiggle around helplessly for another few years and try to get eaten last. And make no mistake, they will be eaten. Westminster and Notre Dame eventually will be mosqued. Well, there's the reason right there. They're behind it. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, Mount Etna's going off, apparently, on August the 4th, two days ago. Volcoholic was sweeping. Oh, apparently, no. Gian Palo. This person here, sorry. Um, was sweeping the ash off their doorstep. So I'd say people around Mount Etna in Italy, uh, be careful. Okay. McAmmius, I've got to, got to try and say that right, man. It's, that, it's hard for my mouth to get around that one. Four, yes, four of the largest, world largest military supplies in the world. Three are American, one is British. Let me know when you see it. Then let me tell, then let me know who you think is running the show. Lockheed Martin, the military, Northrop Gunman Corporation. 
RTX Corporation and the BAE Systems. Of course they're going up. There's a war going on. <laughs> oh dear, everything else is going down and they're going up. Great. There you go, that's where all the money's going right now. Working class bro bro said pretty well said, to be honest. Nigel Farage said Parliament must be recalled for a proper debate. I've been totally appalled by the levels of violence seen the last couple of days. The level of intimidation and threat to life have no place in a functioning democracy. That so many police officers have been injured trying to keep the peace is shocking. And we should not discount the use of the army if the situation were to deteriorate further. In the short term, we will quell the riots, but deeper long-term problems remain. Ever since the soft policing of the Black Lives Matter protests, the impression of two-tier policing has become widespread. The Prime Minister's faltering attempts to address the current crisis have only added to that sense of injustice. The majority of our population can see the fracturing of our communities as a result of mass, uncontrolled immigration, whether legal or illegal. Yet to attempt to debate this in public arena leads to immediate howls of condemnation. A population explosion without integration was always going to end badly. I've said this for many years. We must have a more honest debate about these vital issues and give people the confidence that there are political solutions that are relevant to them. A recall of Parliament would be an appropriate start to this. And I agree with him. And don't look, people are going, oh, he's going to call in the military or whatever. Um, that's part of it. Okay. Drew Hernandez said UK police officer exposed communicating to Muslim invaders that they are there to protect them and not their own citizens. Get ready for this, America. There's nearly 20 million illegals in the USA that will be activated just like this very soon. The key word there being activated. Okay. We can't stay really yeah, okay, thank you so much. And when the things escalate, yeah, come out. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we understand, yeah, that's fine. Thank I you. just need you to understand we're not against you guys. We're no, here. no, no, we're here no, to help no. protect you. We all understand, we all understand, yeah. Appreciate that, what you're doing. Thank you. Crazy. Hmm, okay, what do you not see in Manchester? Radio Genoa said it looks like Islamabad, but it's Manchester. I want someone, if anyone's on the ground, to actually tell me if this is going on. Nick Sorter said, and I know people say, oh, there's people on, you know, I want to I want to know, like, people who listen to me, if you can, are you seeing anything or hearing anything? Okay, uh, Nick Sorter said this fake news reporter in England is saying white people are rioting just as Muslim women walk, men walk by carrying machetes. Screw these people. Let's have a listen to this, because I don't believe there's any any pe normal people going to these things. Just bear with me for a minute. And, ...and look very pleased about it whilst they do it, did it. Then there was this, as I say, clash between protesters and the police, and that is when they then ran off across the park here. Um, a big group ran off, um, looking for trouble, it looked like, to us. So we're just going to step away now from this group behind us, but... Um, a lot of disorder here, a lot of and, and look very pleased about Look, if this was real, they'd be honestly going after her. That's why I keep, I keep thinking, and this lady, like, it's a fake news reporter in England, but she's saying white people are writing, just as Muslim men walk by carrying machetes. They're trying to gaslight you badly. DOQ said financial fix coming. Don't forget, there's another economy even if it does there's a new one coming george said breaking kamala harris has been busted for paying influencers and celebrities twenty thousand dollars to attend the dnc convention in chicago emails are being sent to influencers from public relation managers who got paid by the campaign to inform celebrities and influencers that they can be compensated by the dnc in addition to pay the dnc is offering flights hotel and high level access to the convention and exclusive invites to private parties and events happening during the week in Chicago. The deal also requires them to post on social media while at the event. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, she's giving rich people $20,000 to attend the DNC convention. Okay, look, 
Luke Radowski said Iranian State TV just ran this. I don't believe this. This looks like a video game or something. Uh, yeah, the video war game, Red Dragon, yep. But if Iran just aired this, and where'd they get all the Toyotas from? Are they Toyotas? Uh, okay, just let's have a look. At, I want to see what other people are saying about this. I'll never stop respecting Toyota's commitment to potential war zones. Graphics look dated, 2 out of 10 for effort. Lord Hiver said lovely new Toyotas. Looks like they've been busy spending Joe and Barack's billions of dollars in gifts. Probably a good idea to turn the tap off. I know it sounds racist. There you go. What that person say? That this won't be a game of armour. Um, okay. Yeah, it looks like, I don't know, ridiculous, but that's what it looks like. A game. If this is what we're going to get, this is, do not be scared. Okay, dam is breaking, said Wall Street apes. People in the UK are protesting. People in Britain are storming police guarding an immigration hotel. Remember, we have undeniable proof George Soros paid off these elected officials to flood America and Europe with illegals. The Prime Minister of, of Hungary exposed the document proving George Soros is largely behind the global illegal Im immigrant invasion. Back in 2015, George Soros published his plan, which is now being implemented across the globe, to bring millions of illegals into the United States and into Europe. As Hungary's leader, Viktor Orban, recently pointed out, I do remember how Mr George Soros published his plan, the Project Syndicate publication. First, this is a very clear... Um, in 2015, EU has to accept at least a million asylum seekers annually. Second, he said, adequate financial uh, financing is critical, and he proposed to issue long-term euro bonds for finance, financing the migration crisis and the migrant social and welfare taking care when they arrive in the European Union. I do remember how Mr George Soros published his plan in English, in a project syndicate publication. It was done 2015, September 26, and he published a plan. He said that he is my, I'm quoting here, are the six components of my comprehensive plan. He said that, quoting them, safe chemicals, safe channels, sorry, safe channels, safe channels must be established for asylum seekers, starting with getting them from Greece and Italy to their destination countries, which means bring them to Greece or Hungary and have them go to go to OSEN. It was written, it was published, it's known, so we are fighting to get an organised gang called Empire of George Church and NGOs who are just supporting everybody who is transgusting our legal system and our regulation and uh, financing illegal activity against our nation. So is this why the story is not getting, is ju not just about migration, this is really hard to read, sorry guys. But it's about how this European Union is working and how George Soros was able to captive the main positions inside many institutions of European Union. Buying out MPs and other leaders, and it might be lost in translation a little bit, guys. Buying out MPs and other leaders and in order to execute the plan which is written, and it's against all the Christian and nation-based political forces, it's against us. It's about how to change Europe and how to elevate and push aside all the Christian, conservative, national-based political leaders and voters from the European Union decision-making bodies. So this is the migration, a migration, not just migration. It's not just about migration, it's what that's for. They want to get rid of Christianity as well. Okay, I think a little bit of that was lost in translation somewhere, so... Sorry about that. Um, Steve Baker, TPC, said Judicial Watch forced the Justice Department to admit CIA personnel were allegedly at the January 6, 2021 disturbance. Now the CIA should come clean on exactly what its role at the protest was. The Blaze, Judicial Watch sues for records of any CIA presence on January 6. Bet you they were the ones breaking the windows. May said Kamala Harris, we have to stay woke, like everybody needs to be woke. Okay, you ready for this? I'm going to make sure my volume is right, okay. You know, we have to stay woke, <laughs> like everybody needs to be woke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and you can talk about if you're the wokest or woker, but just stay more woke than less woke. <laughs> yeah. 
She's an idiot. Truly. A fool. Josh Hammer said, big, big freaking deal here. Ben Ramali said, Judge Meth Meth Metha finds Google violated Section 2 of the Sherman Act by maintaining its monopoly over general search. Conclusion. For the foregoing reasons, the court concludes that Google has violated Section 2 of the Sherman Act by maintaining its monopoly in two product markets in the United States, general search services and general text advertising, through its exclusive distrib distribution agreements. The court thus holds that Google is liable as to counts one and three of the U.S. plaintiff's amended complaint uh, to the extent that counts one and three of the plaintiff's state's complaint are coextensive with the U.S. plaintiff's counts one and three. The court finds Google liable. So they're getting held accountable, guys. It's, it's literally all going on. They have been charged with uh, ma having monopoly over general search. So we'll see what happens from here on. Oh, we've got a disappointment here. Drew said, yeah, predictive programming ain't real, though. New York Post said Veep star Julia Louise Dreyfus says she will be extra involved in Kamala Harris's campaign. What for you do this? I loved Seinfeld. Oh, God. Okay, Ben Fordham Live said bad news for drinkers. The tax on alcohol is set to increase again from today. Prices will rise by at least 2 to 3% on alcohol. There you go. People who drink. Ron said, is Iran going to use our money to shoot rockets and missiles into Israel tonight? Then will Israel use our money to shoot down the rockets and missiles? Do you get that one? All of us, we're, we're all paying for both sides of this. The US is probably paying the most, but the US, the UK, Canada, New Zealand, I think we're all giving money to Palestine and Israel. Anyway, Diogo Cohia said temporary migrants hold protests in Australia to be given permanent visas. If you can't even follow a visa process, then how are you even going to respect the laws, the culture and the people in this country? Every single person in the, this protest should be deported immediately. They should be. See you later, mate. Bye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. And they're not. They're just coming here to cause mayhem. And more votes for Labour Party. Cat turds laughing at most mostly peaceful memes sharing Donald Trump's um oh, what is it? True social? No, this is from Twitter. Back in 2015. If the Dow Jones ever falls more <laughs> Dow Jones <laughs> ever falls more than a thousand points in a single day, the sitting president should be loaded into a very big cannon and shot into the sun at tremendous speed. No excuses. <laughs> oh, okay, guess who's one of the community notes people? That's why it's absolute shit. I mean, therefore I am, said now I know who pollutes community notes with Democrat propaganda. It's Ed Krasenstein. I'm proud to say that I play a role in writing and rating X's community notes and I've just been awarded the top community notes writer. Designate, oh great. That's all we freaking need. A Krasenstein. Someone should look at their hard drive, seriously. Chris, Chris Pavlovsky said, Today's decision confirms what everyone knows. Google is a monopolist. Rumble's been making this argument for years in our multiple antitrust lawsuits against Google, both currently ongoing. Google loses federal antitrust case. It was engaged in illegal practices to preserve search engine and text advertising monopolies. There you go. The actual story. Okay. Found guilty. Mike Benton said the Secret Service provides a secret service, covering up the crimes of the secret state. Colin Rugg said, just in, former Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheetle wanted to destroy White House cocaine evidence according to Real Clear Politics. According to the report, an agent was taken off the case after he wanted to follow a certain crime scene investigative protocol. Cheadle and then Deputy Director Ron Rowe reportedly wanted to cover up the evidence. The Secret Service Forensic Service Division and the Uniform Division stood firm and rejected the push to dispose of the evidence, according to three sources in the Secret Service community. 
so she wanted to cover it all up. Yep, you got Hunter doing his, oh, I really need a hit, man. I need a hit, I need a hit, I know I'm going to go on and have a hit. I don't know, I'm just, I don't know if that's what he would say, but I mean, you know. Ah, yeah, okay. Ron, Code Monkey, is, uh, Biden is MIA, MIA, race riots in the UK, Kamala's crashing, Iran prepared to invade Israel, Lockheed Ma Martin stocks going up, 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 Maduro arrested, thousands after election, Japanese yen squeezes the world's markets, and Google lost in court and declared a monopoly. That's what we got going on, pretty much, in a, in a nutshell. Libs of TikTok said five Colombian nationals who entered the US illegally were just arrested for carrying out a home invasion in Michigan. They're believed to be part of an international crime ring. These are the types of people that border czar Camilla Harris is letting into the country. They're releasing criminals. They're let, they're, look, they're even emptying their prisons into our countries and their insane asylums. We need to make asyl insane asylums great again in our countries and start locking these people up, especially with this one right here. Okay, she needs to be in an asylum, insane asylum. I can't even say the word. <sighs> Let's have a look. At Camilla, 15 years ago, she talks with Google. You know, the power I have as a prosecutor is that with a swipe of my pen, I can charge someone with a misdemeanor, the lowest level offense possible. And by virtue of that swipe of my pen, you will have to go to a courthouse and stand in line. You will have to come out of pocket and hire an attorney. You may get arrested for a few hours. You will be embarrassed in your community. You will miss time from coming onto the Google campus. All because with the swipe of my pen, I've charged you with a crime, which I may choose to dismiss two weeks later. It's an incredible amount of power. Wow, she sounded drunk there too. I don't know. Did anyone else catch that? I don't know, but uh, she seems drunk and power hungry. Okay. OSINT Defender said former US President Donald J. Trump just said while on live stream with internet personality Aidan Ross that he heard Israel is going to get attacked tonight by Iran. Okay. Citizen Lens said here is Gavin McInnes schooling Joe Rogan about the inbreeding problem nobody talks about. What's this? I think a part of it was inbreeding. Uh, this, this is your own theory. No, no, no. Look at someone it. else Muslims has a theory. Inbreeding, major, major problem. I've never heard this before. Especially with immigrants in Britain, huh. like the Pakistanis in London, they will have all kinds of serious inbreeding problems because that's an even smaller sample size you're dealing with. Strap yourself in for this. Seventy percent of all Pakistanis are inbred, and in Turkey. The amount is between 25 to 30 percent. More stillbirths among immigrants. A rough estimate reveals that close to half of everybody living in the Arab world is inbred. A large percentage of the parents that this is blowing my mind. So listen to the BBC investigation in Britain several years ago revealed that at least 55 percent of the Pakistani community in Britain was married to a first cousin. Holy shit. BBC's research also discovered that while British Pakistanis account for just 3.4% of all births in Britain, they accounted for 30% of all British children with recessive disorders and a higher rate of infant mortality. What in the fuck? Labor Party MP has called for a ban on first cousin marriage. Medical evidence shows that one of the negative consequences of inbreeding is a 100% increase in the risk of stillbirths. Wow, that I, is insane. I also read somewhere that a lot of the symptoms of inbred people are uh, irrational rage, uh, Put that fanaticism, back and they end up just describing ISIS. Look at what it says here that um, with the, uh, the IQ points. It says findings on intelligence. Research shows that if one parent's are cousins, if one's parents are cousins, intelligence goes down 10 to 16 IQ points. The risk of having an IQ lower than 70, criterion for being retarded in quotes, are they using that word? Mm -hmm. Increases 400% among children from cousin marriages. Well, let me say that again. The risk of having an IQ lower than 70 increases 400% amongst children from cousin marriages. Jesus Christ.
Then why don't we know this? Because I I people don't this. like the truth. Islamophobia. They don't like being called Islamophobic by even discussing it. Like, we're going to be called Islamophobic for even bringing this up. Information has to come out. You blew my mind with that. Okay, then apparently we have this. Chris Rose said in Birmingham, the large group of Muslim men are now targeting random innocent people in pubs appalling. We now have an escalated race war and every few MPs want to, very few MPs want to acknowledge it. Every time two tear kids speaks, things get worse. Perhaps he should have gone on holiday. So they're attacking people in pubs now, apparently, allegedly. Sean Hannity said Biden six days ago, I cured the economy. He sure did. Sunk it. US's future. Breaking news. Muslims are attacking British pensioners now. An unprovoked attack by this Muslim against an elderly man who appears to be punched and knocked unconscious. You can't really see much and I don't want to... Like, I think a lot of this is trying to rile people up. But I don't know. Okay? I don't know. That's why I'm asking people. Awakened Outlaw said, the more you know, white dudes for Harris, they look like the uh, same as the white supremacists. Remember them? Look, the tan pants, same boots, same shirts, the covered in cup masks. <laughs> they stick out like dog's balls. Sorry. It's, a, it's an Australian saying. Okay, we've got this one. This is something you might need to see. Any, any woman who has, uh, what do you call it, fillers? Jessica Rogers said, this was sent to my drafts immediately. Why? Ladies, please watch. A doctor shares an MRI of a woman's face who's been receiving Botox and fillers for the past six years. It's damaging the face, obviously, but it also blocks the lymphatic system. I'm just glad I don't put anything on my face except a little lip gloss. Everything gets absorbed through the skin, so be aware of what you're injecting or slathering on your body. Okay. This lady, okay. Complications related to HA fillers is around the eyes. I don't think I can actually play because there's music in the background and YouTube will get me for that. So I'll try and keep up with reading it. This condition, which I call Fari, uh, patients develop on and off swelling around the eyes after having fillers to clear to tear ducts or mid face. And although this is more common after multiple treatments, uh, this can with just one treatment. We wanted to investigate to see if fillers can block the lymphatics, which is your body's natural plumbing system, draining system. The answer was yes. What you're looking at is an imaging study that was using a fluorescent dye. The patient received two syringes of fillers to tear trousers and face more than five years ago. Of a, a typical person without fillers, this is what it looks like, okay? Tiny. Within 24 hours, it disappears. However, the st that still displayed the fluorescence, days signifying block lymphatics. Okay, so that can block up your whole system. That's um, fillers, I believe. Botox is a little bit different, but it is botulism. Okay, Libs of TikTok said the streets of Philadelphia. Here's a glimpse of what the country can expect from Josh Shapiro if he's picked for VP by Kamala. Great. That's all you need. You need to look at these people and look at their areas. And Okay, another one. Are these, are these the racist far-right EDL Sky News keep warning us about? They sure cut the feed fast. Yeah, see, they're trying to make it like appear like the white people are doing all the rioting. It's not actually the white people. Community leaders have been speaking to the police as well because... Hey, yo, free Palestine! Free Palestine! Oh. Fuck India, mate! But I think, apologies for the language you're hearing, but a sense of the right. anger, I think you can Casey. hear there. Yeah, Casey, I think we... Becky, I apologise. We... Okay, that's all we need to see. They cut it off as soon as they, they couldn't explain it as white people rioting. Carolyn Coram said, I wonder if we're seeing the real-time flushing out of underground Islamist terror cells and Nazis. I think you are, and that's who I think is doing all this. Fighting each other. I'm telling you. Like these guys, where are they? These ones. This is what I think about it. Planned.
Okay, then you've got this. Oh, shoot, what happened? Okay, I went right to the top. Give me a sec, guys, I'll get back there. Okay, we're back there. Marjorie Taylor Green press release parody said Jamie Raskin admitting on video the Democrat Party will take the election. He admits that if voters vote for Trump to be in office, Congress will stop it. Would be a shame if this went viral. What can be put into the Constitution can slip away from you very quickly. And the greatest example going on right now before our very eyes is Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which they're just disappearing with a magic wand, as if it doesn't exist, even though it could not be clearer what it's stating. And so, you know, they want to kick it to Congress. So it's going to be up to us on January 6, 2025, to tell the rampaging Trump mobs that he's disqualified. And then we need bodyguards for everybody in civil war conditions, all because the nine justices, not all of them, but these justices who have um, not many cases to look at every no, year, no. not that much work no. to do, a huge <laughs> staff, great protection, simply do not want to do their job and interpret what the great 14th Amendment means. And I'm glad that Sherilyn's creating her new center so we can bring that. What can be put into the Constitution can slip. Very interesting. Extremely interesting. Hmm. There you go. Okay. And, uh, yep, we've got more on the Lucy Letby thing. And more on that. And more on that. Yep. A lot more. Okay. Well, I've got a folder with all this stuff that I'm building for it. Um, and that seems to be the end of that. Just let me check if I've got any more news. We've got a talk going on on Twitter on X here. Dow crashes 1,000 points. Economy unburdened by what has been. <laughs> oh, I think that's hilarious. Okay, let me see what else we can find. And that was something I wanted to say earlier as well. Ryan, Ryan James Gertz, Gerduski said, never give up your Second Amendment rights. Brits being, uh, in their cars are being attacked across Birmingham by armed Muslims, apparently. So, but I, I agree with that. Second Amendment rights. Because over here earlier today, what did I do? Um, where is it? Our governments can't and won't protect us. We all need the right to defend ourselves. Do you see why they took our guns off us? Now, you, when you disarm a population, they can't fight back. It's a warning for the USA. So there's that. Oh, and they've spotted Joe Biden. President, do you think Iran will stand down? Do you think Iran will stand down, sir? I hope so. I don't know. President. Yep. Oh, look, they're all going off on holiday. They're doing this and then going off on holiday. This is what our leaders are doing. Doing this and then going off on holiday. Oh, users of online trading platforms report outages as Wall Street does what? Almost like it was planned, said Steve Mudflat McGrew's remasculated podcast. As Wall Street meltdown ravages stock market, of course. Uh, users of another brokerage firm, Vanguard, reported they were unable to log into the software. Oh. <laughs> A glance at downdetector.com shows that there were more than 15,000 reported outages at Charles Schwab, nearly 3,200 at Fidelity Investments, and more than 2,800 users reported issues with Vanguard. The post has sought comments from Charles Schwab, Vanguard, Fidelity, Ameritrade and E-Trade just before 10 a.m. Eastern Time. More than 14,000 users reported an outage at Schwab, according to Down Detector. There you go. Okay, what else have we got? Anything else? Okay, something else that makes me think this might be just absolutely insane and stupid and idiotic. Have a look at this. This is our great British police force. This is what you've got to have respect for. They've got kids, mate. Fucking midget. They've got a midget to deal with the rioters. 
I mean, for fuck's sake, what has this country come to? It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> fucking hell, we're fucked. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. Well done. Yeah, it's like, the, it. I don't know. I don't know if this is, I'm not buying it, you know, kind of thing. But I still say, stay safe, everyone in the UK, everyone in Canada, everyone in Australia, everyone in Ireland, everywhere, like Italy, Ireland, all over the place, New Zealand, America, Australians, everyone, just stay safe, right? Stay calm. That's the main thing. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. Hope you have a good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.